Hey guys, so check it out. Um, I'm not a, a pro art player by any measure, but um, I did have a situation where uh, every time I was trying to go out and explore the ocean, um, I'd get a pretty good team together and I'd get, you know, pretty deep and I'd end up getting targeted by an Alpha Tuso or some other collection of dinos uh, under the ocean and I would end up getting destroyed and I'd end up losing quite a bit. It, it, it became a, a frustration. So one of the, the two issues I was dealing with was GPS, uh, just not knowing where I was when I was dying um, and not being able to get back there easily. Um, especially if you have to like respawn at a bed that's pretty far away and you have to swim all the way out there. If you don't have your gear, you don't have the things you need, that, that, that obviously is um, extremely difficult and you end up losing a lot of stuff. So um, I decided to make a motorboat and I used a design um, to kind of get the baseline. It was a wooden one that I saw on YouTube and I'll link that in the description below. But um, I decided to kind of expand on it for a couple reasons. Basilosauruses tend to attack rafts, um, and even if you have any damage to the raft, I didn't want it to be wooden and get splintered and break apart, and I just feel like metal probably looks a little bit better than stone, so, um, so I decided to upgrade everything to metal. Um, but let me give you a little uh, view of it. Uh, the goal was to be able to die and come back to a bed that would be on the boat, have the supplies on the boat that I needed, have a boat that would withstand any kind of damage, and have a boat that um, would go fast, because I don't want to go out into the ocean and be going slow, so I wanted a motorboat. And I wanted something that if, if, I, if I got targeted by an Alpha Tuso or something that was you know, definitely going to kill me, that I could just jump on my mount, come to the surface, and destroy you know, from my boat. So let me give you a little tour of the boat. So as you can see, um, this is the front area right here for um, actually putting any baryonyxes or anything I wanted, uh, just so they don't jump around too much and just give a place for a couple dinos to kind of stand if I need them to. Um, got double bunk beds here to make sure that I can respawn a couple times if I need to, you know. A um, little preserving bin just for some resources. I um, didn't put a refrigerator here because I um, don't plan on having this on all the time. So a preserving bin is a little easier with Spark to kind of just keep it going. A uh, spot to put some diving gear. You know, just some basic stuff to be able to go. Um, a place to be able to cook and then put prime meat and save it if I need to. Um, you know, obviously steering. But here's where the, the real value to me was uh, with the boat was... I went ahead and threw um, a generator on top, so it's totally out of the way. I built, you know, a little design stuff just to kind of make it look cool. Um, but essentially, just to keep it out of the way. I, I, I've always been weird about the cords; like they drive me nuts. Like the game's so beautiful, and you have these ugly ass cords. So um, I decided I wanted the generator up on top, and then I threw four turrets in here, some lights, and this just allows me to, before I die, kind of gear up. nothing crazy. Uh, it's not super hard to build. Um, I'll, like I said, uh, the, the one that I used for inspiration, uh, I'll put in the description, and that gives you really the core, and I think you can visually just kind of see what additions I added. And I don't even think I'm close to like the max weight on this. I bet you I could put quite a, more sh uh, quite, uh, a lot more structures on this and be fine. Uh, so I'll give just a little quick uh, diving tour. You can see that the, it goes really quick, so if you're trying to get out into the ocean like I am, you can still see everything, but this just really allows you to move a lot faster. In general, you can see how far we are away already, you know, it just gives you a sense of needing to get out there quicker and you have to you know, waste time when you're trying to get back to your body and you're trying to get out to your body. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the boat. I hope it you know, inspires a little more creativity. I mean, definitely make it your own, but, uh, I hope you enjoy uh, I hope you enjoy the boat and I hope uh, you enjoy the video. Cheers.